From Washington, I'm Christopher Cruz. A group of African leaders met Saturday to try to end the crisis in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They called on rebels to, in their words, stop all war activities and withdraw from the city of Goma. The rebels captured the city earlier this week. The African leaders also called on the rebels to stop talking about ousting the government. The presidents of Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, and the DRC met in the Ugandan capital, Kampala. The Rwandan president, Paul Kagame, did not attend, but his foreign minister did. The United Nations has accused Rwanda of supporting the rebels in the DRC. It denies the charges. Mauritania's President Mohamed Ould Abdelaziz has returned home from France for the first time since being wounded by one of his own soldiers last month. Thousands of people gathered at the airport Saturday to greet him on his return to the capital, Nouakchott. Many people also stood on the side of the street that runs between the airport and the presidential palace. Mr. Abdelaziz waved to them, but he did not speak. He had been in France for the last six weeks, receiving treatment after soldiers fired on his vehicle. The government said the shooting was accidental, but that version has been questioned. Mr. Abdelaziz seized power in 2008 in a country with a long history of governments being ousted. He won the 2009 presidential election. President Ernest Coroma of Sierra Leone has been sworn into office for a second term. He won re-election last week. He promised to fight corruption and attract foreign investors. Egyptian democracy activist and Nobel Prize winner Mohamed el Barade has called on Egypt's president to cancel new powers that he gave himself on Thursday. Mr. El Barade spoke to people gathered in Tahrir Square in the Egyptian capital Cairo on Saturday. President Mohamed Morsi said he was giving himself powers that could not be reviewed by judges. The powers would also protect his Islamist supporters in Parliament. Pakistani officials say a bomb explosion near a minority Shiite religious observance Saturday killed at least seven people, including three children. At least 30 people were injured. The attack happened in the city of Dara Ismail Khan, near the South Waziristan tribal area. Pakistan has temporarily suspended wireless telephone service in major cities to prevent such bombings. Explosions are often set off by cellular telephones. Shiites gathered Saturday in the Afghan capital Kabul to mark Ashura, the holiest day of the Shiite Muslim year. Men struck their backs with chains to observe the death in the seventh century of Imam Hussein, the son of the son of the Prophet Muhammad. One mourner said the men were ready to sacrifice their lives for Imam Hussein. Thousands of Afghan security forces guarded the events. You are listening to the news in VOA Special English from Washington. Palestinians in Gaza say Israel has eased some limits on border crossings since a ceasefire began Wednesday. Palestinians were allowed to enter an Israeli-controlled area between Gaza and Israel to work on crops. 
Schools in Gaza were open on Saturday after being closed since the beginning of the eight days of violence that ended with the ceasefire. At least eight people have been killed and many more injured in a fire at a clothing factory in Bangladesh. The fire began late Saturday at the factory in the Ashulia business area near the capital Dhaka. It is not clear what caused the fire, but several deadly fires happen every year in the country's large clothing manufacturing factories. Poor safety rules, bad electric wires, and overcrowding are often the causes of the fires. The militant Basque group ETA in Spain says it is ready to talk with officials in Spain and France about ending the group and giving up its weapons. The group put a statement on its website Saturday. The statement said ETA is ready to negotiate an end to military operations and is ready to give its weapons to officials. But it is demanding that Basque prisoners be brought to prisons closer to home. Until Saturday, ETA had refused to end its group and give up its weapons, as demanded by the French and Spanish governments. The leader of the Roman Catholic Church, Pope Benedict, has named six new cardinals from around the world. Cardinals are the top leaders of the Church. They choose a new pope when the Pope dies. The new cardinals come from Colombia, India, Lebanon, Nigeria, the Philippines, and the United States. Some critics have said too many of the Roman Catholic Church's cardinals are from European countries. When 22 cardinals were named in February, almost all of them were from Europe or were Vatican leaders. And finally at this hour, three people have been injured in a fire at the headquarters of the State Department in Washington, D.C. The fire started Saturday morning as work was being done in the building. Fire officials said one worker suffered injuries that may result in death two others were seriously hurt. A spokeswoman said the fire was put out quickly.